Hey, what's going on guys? Rob from Clicks Geek. In today's video, we're going to walk through how to set up conversion tracking in Google Ads. Now, I'm not just going to teach you one method. I'm going to teach you all of the important ones that you need, which is contact form submission tracking, um, website phone calls. So if somebody lands on a website and calls, how to track those as conversions, and obviously call extension leads. So we're going to track those as well. So this is going to be a really quick video. Um, this is really easy to set up. Google's made it really easy in the last six months. But before we get into the video, make sure that you go down below this video and click the subscribe button to our channel. The Clicks Geek channel drops content every single day on Google how-tos, case studies, agency life, anything you can think of with Google Ads and running a digital agency. You're going to see it on this channel, so it's pretty cool. All right, with that said, let's get right into the video. Okay, guys, so what you're looking at right here is inside of our demo Google Ads account. So we have a bunch of um, test campaigns we've built through previous videos, stuff like that. But the first thing we're going to do is come up to the little wrench icon, which I think is off screen for you guys, but it's in the top right hand side. A little wrench icon says tools and settings. A little drop down here, we'll do conversions. So the first conversion action we're going to set up is going to be contact form submissions. You see here we have some demo ones from before. So we'll go. Click the blue button here. We'll choose website. Now, here's where you're going to put in your website domain or landing page URL. For us, we'll use the ClickSkeek website. Okay, so you have two options here. You have the create a manual conversion action, which is the old way of doing it, which we don't even do this anymore. So, we're going to skip that in today's video. We're going to do the new style way of doing it, which is much easier. <clears throat> All right, so it's basically going to fire on a page load, right? So whatever URL you put here, it should be a thank you page. That is the thank you page that shows after the contact form is submitted and it redirects and goes to this thank you page. That's what the, this URL is for, All right, because it's going to fire on a page load. As soon as this page loads, it's going to fire as a conversion in your Google Ads. So select conversion goal. You can do submit lead, um, subscribe, whatever you want to do. So this is a contact form, so we're just going to do... Submit lead form. URL starts with is fine, contains, URL is, whatever. I usually just do contains. And for us, it would be thank you, which is what shows after someone submits a form on our site. Now, keep in mind, let's say you have, you're using your, reg your regular website and not a landing page. <coughs> Excuse me. Then you're going to want to, and you have different thank you pages, then you're going to want to set up multiple conversion actions with the forms, okay? You can set up as many of these as you want. So you're going to have to set one up for each each of your forms that goes to a different thank you page. That's really important. All right, so let's say we have our ClickSkeek one here. We have our thank you page, and we're going to hit add. Good to go. Come down here. Go to this blue dot here. Uh, continue. Sorry, my head's in the way. Let's get out of here. Save and continue. <clears throat> awesome. Now we'll take our code here. This is your global site tag. So we're going to take that code, we're going to copy it, and we're going to paste this on every single page of your website or your landing page, all of your landing pages, all of your website pages, everything like that, and also on the thank you page. This is very important. This code has to go in between the body, I'm sorry, the head tags on every single page that you're going to be tracking um, events, conversions with Google Ads. So it's going to be the thank you page. This can be your main page, um, inner pages. If, if it's your main website, this should go on every page in the head tag, and including the thank you page. If it's your landing page, it should go in the head tag landing page and the head tag of the thank you page. Just had to get that out there because it can get confusing with people. So once you have that done, then you'll come back in here and you'll hit done. And we're good. Now we have our, which is this one, this is the newest one. We have our contact forms now ready to go, set up, ready to track. So that is step one. All right, now let's do, um, what should we do here? Let's do calls from a website next. All right, so we'll come into the conversion actions, start tracking conversions. We'll come to phone calls. We'll come down to calls to a phone number on your website. Continue. We'll name it. 
call from website number or whatever name whatever you want here you can choose a value what do you want if you want to add a value a dollar amount value to what this lead is worth to you or what this phone call is worth you can add that here count we always want to do one we don't want them to accidentally count multiple calls as, or one call is multiple conversions phone number so here's where you'll put your phone number Display number, this is really important, okay? So this is the destination number. This is the number that Google's going to, this, that's Google's going to dial, okay? So this is really important. This is also equally as important. This is the display number. This is the number Google's code is going to look for on your landing page or your website to swap their tracking number in, right? So whatever number you have on your landing page, it has to be this number or else Google's not going to swap the numbers and it's not going to track phone calls. Call length, you can set this to whatever you want, seconds-wise, um, 60 seconds, 30 seconds, one second, doesn't really matter. We always set it for under five seconds just because I want to see if keywords are driving actions. I need to know that. Um, click through, conversion window, 30 days, attribution model, data-driven, that's perfect. Create and continue. Install the tag yourself. Again, you shouldn't have to do the global site tag. If you already set up contact form tracking, the global site tag will already be on every page of your uh, website, so that should be good. This, though, however, will need to be added. Okay, so this is the phone snippet code. This also goes in the head tags on every page of your website. Doesn't have any, Actually, I should say this. This code should go on every page where there's a phone number that you want to track calls. Right, so just to be safe, put it in the head code right below the website tag on every single page of your website and you won't run into any issues. So go ahead and do that. All right, and once you're done doing that, getting that all pasted in the head tags on your website, come back in here, we'll click next. <clears throat> We're good to go here. You've set up your call website number conversion action and it's gonna give you a little like blurb about setting up things with tag assistant conversion goals, stuff like that. I did not want to commit here though. Okay. All right, we're good. Next, and the final conversion action is going to be call extension tracking. This one's really easy. So we'll come up here again. New conversion action. Phone calls. Calls from ads using call extensions or call only ads. Continue. Call extension, call, lead, whatever. I have like a thousand of these in this account, so I gotta name it something, something a little different. Call extension, call leads, fine. Whatever you wanna name it, it's call extension. Again, assign a value if you want, a dollar amount, count one, call length, set that to whatever you want. Click through window, 30 days, attribution model, data driven is fine, create and continue. And we're done. So now there's there's one thing you need to understand here, and that is um, for the call extension lead, you have to actually connect this to your account. So if we go, let's see if I can go into one of our demos. We'll come out, we'll go, in, go into your campaign. So let's say we're going into this niche campaign, right? And we want to set up our call extension. What you would do is come down to it right here, ads and extensions, extensions. Let Google do its thing loading. Sorry guys, this is taking forever. I don't know why it's going so slow today. Hit the blue plus sign, call extension. And let me see if I can move this screen over a little bit. There we go. All right, so here's some things to note when setting up your call extension, right? Here's where you'll put your phone number. Again, this will be your, your tracking number, right? Because this is, you should always set up a separate call tracking number for your call extension. So this is where you'll put that tracking number. But keep in mind, whatever phone number you use in here has to be on your website or your landing page. I usually just put it in the footer. Otherwise, Google will disapprove this and it won't work. So it's very important that whatever number you set as this, that it's on the website somewhere or landing page. Next is more important. We're going to choose the conversion action we just set up. 
which was, uh, I think it was this one, call extension phone call. And then that links that conversion action that we just set up to your campaign. And that's how you'll track it. And then you just hit save and you're good to go. So that's it, guys. That's uh, the three main uh, components of setting up call tracking on Google. Hopefully this video was helpful and you guys get some value out of it. Again, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Check out the links in the description. We have lots of cool trainings, free courses, all that kind of jazz. So check that out. And um, other than that, guys, I will catch you in tomorrow's video. Thank you.